Today we're going to show some of the differences in our moisture miter electronic EDV valve as opposed to most of the electronic drain traps that are used in the industry today. Most of these valves that are used in the industry take quite a bit of components to hook them up to whatever you're, you're going to be draining. Like if you were coming off the bottom of a receiver tank, you'd have a fitting here, you'd have a piece of pipe, you'd have these little couplings, you'd have to buy a separate strainer or filter stop, sometimes they call it. These filter stops strain the debris out of the air before, and the liquid before it gets into the valve so they don't become plugged up or stick open. Uh, when you have to service these, they're kind of cumbersome because generally they're going to be down around the floor and then you have to try to take this little filter stop apart. You'd have to shut your air off, take this little filter stop apart. You'd have to take a pliers, and try to get in there and get this little screen out of here. Then you have to take that out and clean that out. Well, what happens is when you try to put it together, keep in mind you're probably on your hands and knees on the floor because these are only a couple inches off the floor. You'd have to try to get this screen back in there and then get this assembled in here without getting any debris on the outside of that screen. Generally what happens when you open that back up, there's always some of the rust and debris that falls in and that travels right back into your valve and causes further sticking and leaking and wasting of air on this type valve. The other areas where you get a lot of contamination that, that fouls the valve up is most of these valves, here's just a little cutaway, and these little tiny valves, they're so tight tolerance right here, there's not much room for this little plunger here to move up and down. So any type of debris that gets in there, it'll foul that plunger up and it won't allow for proper function of the valve. Besides having debris that can get lodged up underneath this plunger and causing it to stick open, the other areas these valves have problems with is the debris gets in around the sides of this plunger because there's not very much clearance there. And again, that jams that plunger up where it will not function or it'll stick open and then you'll be wasting lots of compressed air. With, with our design, what we do is we have this much larger assembly, it's all made out of stainless, and then we have much larger clearances on this plunger here. So we normally never worry about that feature there. The other thing we do do is if you ever did get debris in there, our valve here, you can screw this plunger out and actually service the valve where just about all the other valves in the industry, they're made as a one piece. So you'd have to throw the entire valve away and buy another valve. How we differ is we've built in a strainer, a self-cleaning strainer in our valve. So as, as condensation enters the valve here and it flows through here, it flows through the strainer, up into the valve, out the discharge port. When it becomes plugged or time to clean that, the only thing you have to do is, is open up this little ball valve there. And then what happens is that becomes a straight shot all the way through there and that air blasting through there will self-clean that. So you don't have to take anything apart. The other thing that happens is on compressors, this becomes one of the codes. You normally have to have some type of a manual drain on a compressor or this would allow for that manual drain function to be on the compressor. One other unique feature of the valve is what we do is we have this bracket assembly that's, a, that's an option and just by attaching a nut right here, and this little U-bolt right here, we can take this valve, and if we were gonna mount it on this compressor back here, we can take this valve here and we can mount it to the air piping that would be coming out of the tank. Well, now that's well above that 18 inches above the ground uh, for use in, in example like uh, automotive shops, body shops, anywhere where there's hazardous materials like gasoline vapors that could be present. From the valve, what we would normally do is take just a couple fittings, and some flexible tubing and go from the bottom of the drain up, up to the valve. So it makes it for a very easy installation. Typical applications where the drain valves can be used other than compressors is out in a plant. Example on a drip leg of an air compressor system, of your air piping system. You can mount the drain valve there, it can mount direct to the air piping there. We can self-clean it if it ever gets plugged up with debris. Another challenge for many factories or shops is if you have existing filtration, and you don't have a drain valve, or if you have a petcock in the bottom, or sometimes they have float drains, most of them only have an eighth inch fitting. So it's very difficult to take something like this and plumb in to that to drain it. With our valve, all we do is we'll put a, like a push-in style fitting in here. With the use of our bracket, we can just clamp that bracket right to the piece of piping. Could be electrical conduit piping you're plumbing it to. Um, we mount the valve to that. We just take a, a, a nylon tube or plastic line and run down to the valve. Uh, again, if it becomes plugged, we can open this valve up and they'll self-clean it. We've just cleaned it out and we're ready to go again. The uniqueness about this is maybe you don't have electricity where this needs to be drained. 
because this is just a plastic tube, we could be 50 feet away or 100 feet away and we'll mount this over where there's electricity. So we don't have to have electricity right where we're, we're draining. One of the other unique features that we've done is we've engineered the product. So if you're using our Tsunami product line for our water separators or oil separators, what we can do is we can take a float drain out if you need more robust draining, if you have a lot of debris, rust, heavy oils, particulates, and you need a heavier duty drain, we can take our EDV valve and that will attach right to the bottom of our Tsunami product line. So without any additional fittings, that product's ready to go. You can set the timer on there and you can do the draining automatically with that timer. If it gets plugged up with rust or debris, all you have to do to clean it out is open that ball valve up, self-clean it, close it off, and continue your draining.